Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again and we actually got Eden again, which is surprising. But <clears throat> I'll never turn down an Eden run because they're fun as heck. And we're just going to jump in and see what we get. Ooh boy. Rough, rough start. Okay, stats are very, very good. But, and our baby is fine, but one heart is, is very scary. Starting out with just one heart worries me a lot. There's just so much that can go wrong with a champion enemy. We've got to be incredibly, incredibly careful um, to not make to make sure we don't take any actual damage here, because things could go bad very quickly. Let's hope for some HP here. Um, soybean's actually pretty decent, <sighs> but yes, I unfortunately am still a little bit ill. I will admit, um, as you guys know from the last episode, I wasn't feeling the best. Yesterday, I took the day off recording because I was genuinely like awful. Um, but I've been feeling a bit better today. But I don't have any backlog, so I'm back recording again. But honestly, I do quite like recording. Honestly, this baby, this this um, uh, uh, piss baby. I, I don't know what to call him. <laughs> what's what's the item called? Number one. This number one baby. Oh, you were sneaky back there. You were sneaky. Um, whoa, that's some dollar dollar right there. Okay, hopefully the shop can provide. But yeah, I like the soybean because linger bean's just not a very good item. But having the farts plus linger bean is kind of nice. But yeah, our stats are immense. Like, so goddamn good. Don't know what that is, but I'll check it out. There you go, baby. We are back in the running. We are back in the running. Okay, secret room-wise, um, I'm not entirely sure. Take a little bit more of a look around. But I also feel better to do this now. Dude. Dude, 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 dude. We got some good stuff here. I can't remember what the item of the shop does. It's not great, though. I think it's something that mainly affects our next run. Um, on pickup, key bomb, all that stuff. The start of our next run, spawn with 10%. Yeah, let's just take that. That It helps for next run, potentially. <clears throat> Although I don't actually know if that works, because Eden's uh, Eden's blessing doesn't work for me either. So I don't actually know if it will work, but either or we've got it now. I'm pretty sure we know where secret room is here. It looks to be right here. Good, good. Yeah, there's a bunch of extra money we got this floor, so why not? Um, hmm. Can I do this? I need to check if this works. Yes, I can. Okay, nice. Uh, judgment. Ooh, very, very nice. Okay, we'll hold on to that for later. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure where I'll use that yet, but yeah, happy to be back with Eden. Very, very happy to have gotten that um, that rock that just gave us a ton of HP. But our damage is is fat right now. It's beautiful. Well, look at this. We're just stomping on fools right now, and we get Binky as well, baby, baby. This is a good run to start. Okay, <clears throat> I am happy. But yeah, my, I'm a little under the weather. I, I apologize if you hear me cough or snivel or whatever, but. It is the way of how I'm going to be for the foreseeable next few days. I might even record a couple of videos today, because I, even though my voice isn't great, I am feeling up to it. Oh, hello, Ferryman. I am feeling up to it, and I think uh, it'd be nice to get some backlog so I don't have to record over the weekend, you know? Um, let's try and take this guy out. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Yeah, kind of a, a weird room here. Ooh, that was a very, very bad hit. Oh, my lord. I'm taking big hits, boys. I'm taking big hits. Big hits that I should not be taking. <clears throat> right. Good, good, good. I have also just eaten as well, which also makes it harder to uh, to record, because my voice is always a little more raspy. <clears throat> but, ooh, hello. Um, I will take that. I, I don't really see me using it yet, because my stats are so good. But... <clears throat> Yuck heart honestly isn't great when we don't have a lot of red hearts. Uh, don't know why I did that. Oh, that, that was secret room? I'm very surprised. I really didn't think it would be. Unfortunately, we can't get anything out of this yet. But, I do think if we get a bomb, we can get something right there going on. <clears throat> but yeah, D100 right now isn't the best thing for us. But, if we if we find ourselves a few floors deep and our, our situation, like our items aren't that great, then I'd be happy to. And normally D100 is is pretty useful to go for. Just keep re-rolling until you get something good. Hey, there's our bomb that we needed. Lovely stuff. Right. Don't know if this will hit everything. It didn't, unfortunately. I was really hoping for an item there from that chest, so I could have popped out the restock machine. Uh, let's quickly check our shop again here. That's a very, very good one there. We'll take that. I'll, uh, I'll try and get a penny 
some other way first. There's a penny in here, apparently, that I didn't take. Whereabouts? Ah! You bastard! I'm not going to spend a bomb for a single penny, am I now? That would be foolish. There may be many other ways to get one, but yeah, this is a decent start. I'm always worried when we have the low HP starts, as like Judas or low HP as Eden, but it's it's like, as long as you play well around the champions, it's not that big of a deal. It's just making sure that the champions don't get the better of you. Right, come on, one penny is all we need, baby. It's all we need. There you go. Right, good, good. We can come over and we can grab our extra stats. I'm hoping for a HP up and a damage up out of this. We got two damage ups and a tears up. I cannot complain about that at all. Cannot complain about that at all. And honestly, let's bomb this guy for the five um, and then buy the soul heart as well. Why not? We do be min maxing on the streak. We do be min maxing. So let's try and make the most of everything. And try not to accidentally use our reroll as well. That would be pretty devastating for me. But honestly, yeah, this baby is a really good baby to have early on. He does some really good damage. We get ourselves a little bit of speed and immunity to stomping attacks, which is kind of interesting. We've not got enough HP to utilize a devil deal, I'd say, right now. So let's go Angel. And at the minute, we're kind of speeding along. We've got good enough stats to just kind of plow through the first few floors here. Ooh, that was, that was kind of cheeky. I managed to push him into my, like, pu push him to the ability where he's able to hit me really easily. It was my bad. little lemon room. I don't mind the lemon fellas. But yeah, as for the question of the day today, uh, when was the last time you were ill? What was it with? I'd be intrigued to know, because some, some people, I know this sounds kind of savage, but it, it's, it's really interesting to hear about when people are like really ill. <laughs> or like when they have something weird that's not normal. It's, it's like, it's, it sounds mean, but it is interesting to hear about. So I'm intrigued. What, what y'all got? How y'all dying? <laughs> I hope none of you are dying. That would be, that would be pretty, pretty awful. Okay. Yeah, I do, I do kind of like it when you do a tinted rock and you just get bombs back. Good. I'm loving having this speed right now as well. It's not like we have super high speed, but it's just like a little bit of extra to carry us along. Those mushroom enemies are really interesting, but I feel like they never really get fully utilized. They've got some interesting room designs, but they never really come to fruition. Um, ooh, I love, I love Chain Spiky. Chain Spiky can do some really good damage, but also it's a rock destroyer. So it'll just destroy rocks that it spawns near. It's it's very good, and in certain rooms, it can, it can kill off everything because it just does insane damage. It's one of those things where because it's so, like random and whether it'll hit enemies it has to have high damage to be useful you see there it just did a good bit of damage all right this guy's doing his thing it's kind of a bit of a prick here isn't he there you go uh we can't do the shop here we could do secret room though so i'll probably go back and have a look i think considering we have um do you know what let's 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 get you over here shall we i think considering we have um a judgment we really should be trying to make the most out of um <clears throat> There you go, our spike is doing some damage there. Make the most out of secret rooms. Ooh, that was a bad hit. Some HP here, maybe? Ooh, pentagram. It's not HP, but it is very good. I honestly don't think we're going to be using the D100 anytime soon right now, do do you? Um, Right, secret room or secret room. Hey, stuff like that as well, look. Stuff like that as well. You don't expect it to help you in those ways. Right... I'm actually really liking Soybean as well. Soybean's doing some good stuff. I think Soybean's luck-based as well, so we potentially can get even more out of it. Sextant, I never really remember how that works. Let's have a, I'll have a read of it once I've cleared this room, because at the minute I don't have the capacity to, to read. Beautiful stuff. Oh, that hit me. Wow. Did that do a full heart of damage? I was kind of surprised that hit me there. Okay, what we got going on with this? Entering a new room has a chance to reveal more rooms that are nearby. Shows the location of the planetarium if there is one. Dropped a bomb there by accident as well. Great. Okay, okay, okay. Secret room. Secret room. Could be up from here. No, it couldn't. Um, okay, I'm pretty sure I know where it is then. I'm pretty sure I know where it is. It's in one of two places. It's either directly down from here, which I think is most likely, uh, or it's up from here. Yeah, I'm going to guess that it's right here. 
<clears throat> Lovely stuff. And there you go, so... Taking damage, you lose a bit of money. Oh, this is, this is kind of intriguing here, because we've got an item, and we could re-roll it, but I think we might be better off just taking this item and hoping for something better later down the line. Because, like, a hundred money is pretty goddamn good. So I think we, I think we take this. We bomb this in the hope that we get another item. We didn't. Yeah. I, I, I was, I was maybe thinking let's do judgment, but we didn't have enough bombs or pennies to make good use out of it. Whereas now, we have a really high amount of money for any of the shops we come across, but also a really high amount of money to use this reverse judgment when the time comes, which I think is the most important part here. Um, if we find another secret room item, or we go into the angel deal and we get a really bad item, we've got a ton of money to work around it. In fact, I think we're probably better off using this judgment in the angel deal. Because if we use it in the angel deal, then we um, we can reroll the key piece as well. So we need to make sure we have a bomb ready for when we get into that. So let's let's make sure we get a bomb here. Hopefully, so. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I've not I've not seen that counterfeit um, thing before. But it's kind of crazy getting ninety nine, but you lose you lose between one and uh, between zero and two pennies on hit. Is I think it's a pretty good deal. It's a pretty good deal. Right, plenty of keys. Game is not scared of giving us plenty of keys. I mean, golden key on top of that as well. And a burn heart, nice. What does this do? Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna spend a few pennies here making this work. I'm gonna- ah, oh, really? I was trying to get into that other one there, but it didn't let me. Plasma Globe, pretty good. I'm pretty sure this got fixed recently as well. It was broken for a little while. I'm pretty sure the update recently uh, sorted it out. Come on, bombs. We've got Tinted Rocks galore here. And no way to uh, take advantage. No way to take advantage at all. Hey, there you go. Plasma Globe doing its thing. Love that. It's not always going to be useful because enemies have to kind of be like grouped up for it to really do its thing. But when it works, it was going to work well. Did we manage to kill that air fly enemy? Yes, we did. Dude, give me a bomb, please. We've got enough keys, man. We've got enough keys. Yeah, a lot of these lemon enemies. There you go. Finally, we got a bomb. It's only one, though. We need three. Maybe we need four if we want to find secret room as well. Right, shop is going to be good for us here because we can buy some bombs and various other things. Or we can get even more money. Dude. It's a lot of, so it's a lot of change. I mean, I'm not going to take any of it for now because I might be able to come back and grab all that once I've done a bunch of re-rolling. It's kind of a sketchy one, this. But I think this is a it's a pretty solid run. This is a run that I can definitely see us winning. Um, our health is still a bit low. It's not drastically low for the floor that we're on, but it's still a bit low for, for where we are. We could still do better. Useful, useful. Thank you. And then here we go. We've got boss time here. Oh god, you are... You used to be out quite a few spiders, my friend. Quite a few spiders. I like the fact that it stuns them as well. Okay, here's the second bomb as well. That's nice. Right, boss time, please give us Angel Deal here. This would be a great floor to get Angel Deal on. Don't really have to worry about the boss. But yeah, I like the fact that it stuns them for a little bit as well, because it means on a single target, it's still useful to have the Electro Plasma Sphere, whatever it's called. There's our Angel Deal. Another damage up. Wow. Um, and we do get an item we don't want, which is probably good. And we can pop a Judgment here and uh, get some good stuff going on. You need to perish, my friend. There you go. You pop judgment. And neither of those are really my gem. Photon is... Photon's pretty good. Um, it's... It's not good enough, though. It's not good enough. That's... These are both incredible. We'll take both. <laughs> Boom.
both incredible. Now, I am gonna quickly play- oh, okay, that was crazy. It just died straight away. I was gonna hopefully play that so I could get some more out of it, but there you go. Good stuff all around so far, I mean, you can't be sad at Sacred Heart, and Spirit of Acceptance is risky. Spirit of Acceptance, of Acceptance does have a bit of risk associated with it because it can give you random items that could be, like, run-ruining. But I think with the stuff we've got going on, it's unlikely to be that devastating, even if we get something bad. Because we have crazy damage, homing. That coconut item we just got is incredible, by the way, because tears now um, basically don't fall ever, which with homing and everything is, is fantastic here. I'm glad I didn't take Furton as well. I'm very glad I didn't take Furton. I was basically rolling deep for something like Sacred Heart. I, I didn't think I was going to get it, but I was like, let's, let, let's just roll deep and hope for we can get something good. But either way, this, this run's pretty said and done now. Um, unless I accidentally fucking use my active item, I think we're, uh, we're pretty golden. Wow, that was, that was just beautiful. That was incredible game, thank you for, uh, spawning that bomb on me and getting me hit. Oh, dude, I need to be more careful. Taking some dumb damage. Luckily, we've got this burn heart to help us out. Burn heart's rather nice. Good. Paper bag, no thank you. I've not really been uh, watching for the sextant doing its thing, but I think it has been working. I think the coconut is also a damage up as well. Which is why we have 28 damage right now. But yeah, basically, we fire a tier from across the entire room, and it's it's gonna make its way. Coconut is a very, very good item to get. I mean, we, we witnessed it before, we got the eyelash item where it put our range down to one, then the coconut item saved us. Ooh, chance to spawn an eternal heart upon taking damage. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. That's kind of interesting. I still I still like the sextant better right now, I think. See, like this. We have no idea what we're picking up here, and it could it could be rumbling. Slippy guts is pretty bad, from what I remember. <clears throat> but overall, we're fine. Up to 30 damage now as well. Maybe Slippy Guts isn't what I thought it was. We're dropping these little fart clouds, which is going along nicely with our other soybean clouds. Yeah, Slippy Guts isn't what I thought it was. Slippy Guts, enemies have a chance to spawn a lingering poison cloud on death. Yeah, okay, so this isn't what I thought it was at all. So we now have this linger bean chance on death and these lingering clouds on death. This is, this is good stuff. I like this. Yeah, we're, we're absolutely golden here. Like I said, we don't have to worry about range at all. The herming will hit them. Dude, we got another water bottle here. The water bottles are insane, man. The water bottles are insane. The chance of spawning these these poison clouds seems to be pretty goddamn high. It said a chance, but I'm thinking it's not just a chance. I'm thinking it's almost a guarantee. We're getting some form of cloud on every single death. Oh, so we can get birth clouds there. That's kind of interesting. I like it. It's, it's weird, but I'm down with it. Don't need the penny, I don't think. Lovely stuff. Where's our shop at? Oh, we've, we've already been to our shop. It was our uh, thingy boss. I always forget when I've seen the, the, the shop when it's not a shop I can buy stuff from, because I'm like, oh, I've still got all my money. I can't have been to the shop yet. Yeah, wow. This is pretty nuts. Absolutely memeing and dreaming on fools right now. We get ourselves some HP, and we get ourselves some... Deviled Egg. Is Deviled Egg a boss item, or does the item it spawns not come from the same pool? I think it's likely to be the one that doesn't come from the same pool, which means we could get wrecked by like a 9 lives or something, but... We've not got a ton of red hearts, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm trying to think what items could absolutely ruin us. There's not a lot, to be fair. There's not a lot that could really, really cause a lot of issues. There's an Eternal Heart as well, love that. If I had that trinket, I'd be playing that Blood Donation Machine, because Blood Donation Machine plus chance to get an Eternal Heart on hit seems like a a match absolutely made in heaven. Ooh, the, oh, is that Damocles there? That 10 cent use item, I'm pretty sure is Damocles. Which, honestly, I'd be tempted to do, but on a streak, I don't know. Damocles is probably one of the items where this deep in, I, I, I don't know if I could ever take. 
I would just be so dead. Like, if I have a second life, I would. But I'd be so devastated to lose a run to uh, lose a, a streak like this to Damocles, even though it is a very, very fun item. <clears throat> oh god, that was a good hit. Another golden key, dude. The keys are just mental this run. Finally got some bombs going on. It's nice. Look at this. It's just, it's just key after key after key after key after key. Yeah, at least at least we've actually got some bombs going on now. But these are the sort of runs that that I'm I'm happy for when I'm feeling a bit ill. It's just like yeah, you just 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 have a run where you can steamroll. Go off king, as they say. No, that's so cringe. I hate it when people say stuff like that. It's the grossest. <clears throat> Go off king and slay queen. Oh my god. If you don't use that stuff ironically, you are the worst sort of person. <laughs> I I am judging you heavily. Oh, now that's... I wouldn't say it's run ruining, but that, that certainly isn't what we were looking for. Because, like, I, actually, the da damage-wise, it's good. Like, homing, Ipecac, and all that is, is, is pretty goddamn good. But... Obviously, we didn't need it. It's just a sort of distraction from the run. It's kind of interesting the way that like it arcs and then coconut just makes it m keep going. <laughs> we'll definitely be taking molding clay. Thank you very much. And we got a temperance. I don't think I'll be using that. Thank you. <coughs> but molding clay here, very very nice. Also means I won't accidentally reroll my run now. that. Take that. Check this out. Give me two of them. Why not? I'll check out what's going on in here. Okay, I don't actually know what's going on in here, so there's no point doing that. <laughs> I'm surprised. So I got I got the, the Virtue Wisp thing where it gives you a permanent wisp that never dies. Like, it respawns, it dies. But I got a second one. It didn't give me two. I, I, did, I didn't get two wisps out of that, which I'm very surprised at. The only thing I'd want now is more fire it. Uh, possession must have, must be the reason I got this guy as a familiar. I don't, don't know why he's sticking around. I really like the fact that it arcs and then it just goes, Nope, I'm not arcing anymore. And it just carries on. It just sails away. Ooh, damn, I don't even know what hit me there. <laughs> it's great. Oh god, the herming's so strong. Wow. <laughs> this is kind of ace. Oh, we've got like one of these little boil baby things, look. as a. It follows us from room to room. Look at the, look at the doorway, this thing here, look. Why is that there? Yeah, Ipecac was one of those items where literally completely unnecessary, but not exactly bad. I, I genuinely couldn't care less about more keys, thank you, game. I've had more than enough for a lifetime. I should probably check that, because it could be an Emperor. <laughs> Look, he's whipping them all away. He's whipping them all, all the Ipecax away. He's stacking them up, dude. You just ended your own life there. I don't even know what just happened. I just wanted that card. Where's the card gone? There it is. It's just a death card. All that effort, and it was a goddamn death card. Yeah, it must be Possession that's giving us all these extra friends. Dude, every now and again I walk in a room and just take damage. I'm not... Not entirely sure what that's about. Randomly spawn a random item or trinket from any pool. Mm, okay. Don't mind if I do. Excuse me. What the hell happened there? What? Why did that item just fall off of me? I've never seen that in my life. I'm very confused. Right, you are... Very Dunyan Rings, my good friend. Synth Oil. I guess I'll dupe whatever this is. Extra HP, yes please. And away we go. Dude! How? We got Synth Oil and it put our damage from 80 to 144. The hell just happened? Was that Synth Oil that did that? 
Or was that the mystery meat? It might have been the mystery meat. Either way, surprising. Yeah, I just love the fact that the Ipecac keeps going, dude, something in our kit is, is making me hit myself. And it's not from my explosions either. I don't know what it is that's doing it. But something in my kit is making me hit myself. Also, these bees, by the way, these bees are going to do ludicrous damage. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they very much do. Yeah, okay. You see that little, you see there was like a little red fire under my feet then? Uh, a little, sorry, not red fire, a little purple fire. As I walked into the room, there was like a tiny little purple fire under my feet. Bloody yum heart. Every, like, I won't say every time, but like sometimes when I walk into a room, it just spawns a purple fire and hurts me, and I, I'm unsure why. Oh my lord. I'm actually quite happy we got Ipecac now. This is mental. Thanks. <laughs> I steal. I go. Goodbye. More than clear. You are unbelievably powerful. Just keep swimming. It does seem that, like, one enemy every room is just automatically charmed, which is making our life easier. I have literally no idea which way to go here. Very, very, very happy to have this, um... This Burnheart. This Burnheart's been keeping our health safe for a while now. My god, this is this is very confusing. Also, Sextant is doing a good job of revealing the map to us, which is nice. Lovely. Oh, I was like, oh, another enemy? Nope. No other enemy. Oh, and again. Dude, I really wish charmed enemies were more obvious. Like, when you had a charmed enemy. I don't think it's obvious at all. When has that ever not happened? Where I've given him five cent, he's instantly paid out. It happens every single time when I'm not playing Mammon. <clears throat> yeah, it's just I've just got one less room and one less enemy in every room. It's kind of fantastic. I didn't realize possession was was that good. I don't think I've really used possession before. I'm pretty sure it's that's that's the items doing it. To be fair, although I'm not entirely sure. But I like it. We got this guy making us invincible as well. Kind of wild. This is. Really, you got into your laser form? I was not expecting that. Good, good. All oh, right, this has been easy breezy, hasn't it? This has been an easy breezy run. Restock machines are just feel like guaranteed victories. <laughs> Lost contact is kind of interesting here. Metal plate, having two of them is kind of good. Gravity, I have no idea what gravity is. Imp soda is kind of interesting. Booster shot. Booster shot probably not very good because I'm pretty sure booster shot mean, means we have piercing now. I don't know how that will function. Doesn't seem to affect too much to be fair. Get back here you. How are you not dead? I think it's because these little graveyard boys keep uh, interrupting us. Oh my god. Oh wow. I think the poison clouds like chain reaction and killed everything there. We got an eternal chest as well. The virus. I don't even know what to say about this room. I don't know what gravity does, by the way. I'm, I'm a bit... A bit sus to use it. Dude, I need to stop taking damage the moment I enter a room, please. I think it's because I'm holding fire as I enter the room. It's doing some weird stuff. Isaac's tears. On use, you fall up to the ceiling uh, for about five seconds. While in the state, gain flight and vulnerability and extra range. Tears rain down from the top of the screen. Okay, that's kind of useful. Oh, 
We should be absolutely fine here, though. Come on, tank boy, do your thing. We can proper keep our range here as well. Keep our distance. Got hit there, it's fine. So if I do this now... Okay, it just ended the run. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Absolute slappage, and I'll see you guys in the next one.